Hey, what's up everyone, Mort Croson here, and I'm super excited to make this video just because yesterday I ran a 4.38 hand time in the 40. That's a really, really huge accomplishment, something I've been working for for a while. I ran a 4.59 as my best hand time before this, and that was back in college when I was about 22. So seven years later, being able to run the fastest 40, I think is really something to be excited about, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the video right now. Okay, so there's the video. And so what I want to do here is go into some of the breakdowns and I made videos like this in the past, but I think now by being able to see some of the actual numbers behind running a really, really fast 40, we'll be able to actually get into some of the data and hopefully this will really be able to make it clear for how you guys could actually run a four or five um, or sub four or five forty. So, you know, my first reaction is at about five, five, seven, three here where I end up doing it. It always ends up being a bit of a, of a delay there, but anyway, so now it's gonna be, uh, what we're looking for is the first seven steps and that to be at about 10 yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that happened at five, seven, three, eight, which ends up being about one, six, five for that first 10 yards and seven steps. Okay, and then, and that ends up being really the goal here. Uh, the next one's going to be the 20 yard mark, which, which wants to be in 12 steps. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and that's at five, eight, four, six. Okay, and that ended up being at, I know I, I um, you know, lost this, but I just did this video. So this ended up being at 2.75, which just wants to be under 2.8 for that, that 20 yard mark. And again, it wants to be at 12 steps. I'm a little bit short there, uh, but you know, at a, I'm about at 20 yards in 12 steps, ended up probably being right at 2.8 at that 12 step mark. And, and a lot of these videos and, and how I go through, you know, deciding this is for people that run 4.3 or 4.2 and what they're at in these parts of the actual run. Okay, and then we'll go and zoom all the way out. And so this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and a half. So I always say, you know, for about somebody my size, I'm six foot, about 180 pounds, you want to be under 22 steps in the whole 40 yard sprint. Okay, and so I was able to do that. I was able to get that in about 20 and a half seconds there. And so, uh, and, and again, this is my, my best run. I, I ran the a hand time 438. I was probably, you know, a little bit, maybe right at four or five, maybe sub four, you know, four, four, eight, somewhere in there. Um, but, and it, again, a huge accomplishment just because I've been able to uh, build this up over a period of time. I've been doing these speed videos for a while. And so to be able to sh really show how this was actually possible and being able to, you know, build your speed. And, and again, I was somebody that ran high, hand time four, five, nine, you know, which means maybe if you were going to go into the technicalities of it, maybe I was into the four sixes, you know, and if you were going to actually time it, which, you know, here, um, you know, four, three, eight, again, you know, probably in this sub, um, four or five, maybe right at four or five, still huge accomplishment to be able to do that at 29, um, with just basically going off of a lot of my own speed programs, a lot of my own information that I've been able to teach myself over the years. And so if you guys want to get that information, want to learn a little bit more, how I was able to do that. I have a lot of links in the description down below. We have a free speed ebook. We have a seven day trial for our program. And then we actually have a speed program that I really, really recommend for you guys to be able to do. This has helped me get into running 21 miles an hour. Um, it, it's helped me in being able to make a huge impact on my, my uh, start and making sure I'm able to get those first seven steps down, make it so they're very explosive, work on my power. Everything has improved. My hamstring strength has improved tremendously. I'd say that that's probably the most important thing if you're going to try to improve your speed is make sure you get strong hamstrings. Uh, but, but nonetheless, the big thing is, you know, if you're looking to get faster, first thing I want to say is you can do it. It is actually accomplish, accomplishable. I did it here myself. And two, if you want to have a structured program to be able to make that happen, go ahead and click the link down below in order to get started and for us to be able to help you out. As always, guys, thanks for watching these videos. 